All right, folks, the deck is Elemental Odd Mage. My nose itches. The goal of the deck is to play your elementals on curve. You have things like Firefly, Gyre Worm, and even Firework Elemental to get some payoffs from playing your elementals turn after turn. You can also give them lifesteal with Frostlit Jaina in aggressive matchups if you need to stabilize. In general, the goal is to play fairly aggressive early game, take advantage of your upgraded hero power using cards like Arcane Amplifier, Tour Guide, and Daring Fire Eater, and then spike a big Ragnaros off of Janelai the Dragonhawk to close out the game. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash Rawful. Watch this! This is pretty good into Secret Mage, uh, so I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep the Firefly as well because it's a turn one play. This can also be pretty good into Secret Mage, but if I'm winning this game, it probably involves Jaina and an early board advantage, which we've got half of that right now. Coin scientist, please. Yes, okay. I'm gonna go face first. And I can still proc the um, the flame ward if that's what's pulled here. I mean, I assume they have another two drop if they coined out a scientist, right? Yeah. Let's go face some Tar Creeper. I don't have anything to ping with this. And face isn't really that important right now. Blech. Next turn, however, we're just going here and here. I don't know what those uh, secrets are. Counterspell, which isn't very good against me. Maybe Netherwind Portal or Ice Block. None of those are that important, though. We have many secrets. I get value off of this. Welcome to the show. You take some damage, but that's okay. I think I'd rather have this. This could get better later uh, for like blocking a 5-5 five five from attacking. This could be dupe, but it's a fine duplicate target. Okay, so probably Counterspell, Ice Block, Netherwind. If it's uh, the two spell ones, like, I just have no reason to play spells most of the time. It's fine. You can just trade into that with one of the fire elementals. And I think I just ignore that and play the bonfire. So trade first to play around Flame Ward. That could be explosive. Do I need to play around that? Nah. I'll just take my card here. Okay. So it's fair game. Counterspell Ice Block fair game. Or Counterspell Netherwind fair game. I'm gonna play this to test for... Explosive? No, this to test for explosive. No, it's this because I want to play the black cat as well. Welcome to the show. Ooh. That's important. So I think we're going to be able to stabilize into the Jaina. Um, the only thing that probably beats us is a Sage. Do I have to target something with this? Baby, I'm a kind of bad. I don't really want to play the uh, the Baron, so. Nice 
protect the black cat and I don't want to play spells into their secrets right now. That's kind of an awkward turn. I'll play the Baron maybe next turn. Um, but it, it's got too much downside for me because it puts the cat in ping range. And I'd rather... I want to protect my elementals as best I can. This is getting countered. Go face first. I don't think it matters. Alright. Um, we don't die to two cards because they played one fireball and they don't have enough mana for Cloud Prince fireball, so we just drop the Jaina and win. We have many secrets. Well played. I'm dazzling. So even if this is Ice Block, it's still a um, Do not fear still a pop. Uh, but this also heals us, so seems better. Easy game. All right, I do not want to face a big priest with this deck. Just gonna throw that out into the world. Will be the end of you. Oh my god, no! I need a one drop. That's not tour guide. Doesn't people only play OTK, OTK decks in Wild? Uh, no. That's not a one drop. There's like one OTK deck that's a top tier deck and it's Reno Priest. Maligos is also pretty good, but mostly because it beats Reno and Big Priest. So if this is Big Priest, which it looks like it is because they've got the, uh, the sphere to filter to their draws, what I want and need to do is get like a big fire eater burst to face um, because I'm there's going to be a point where I'm not going to be able to get any minion damage to face. And that's quickly approaching unfortunately. I want to get an elemental down so I can draw off of this next turn. And there's no point in pinging when they can just heal through it and like they tend to be healing on turn on this turn anyway. Lothab would be a good uh, draw for me. Oh, okay. That's good news. Uh, that means it is... I'm gonna keep my draw going and, um, or draw now while it's easy. And maybe I shouldn't have even bothered with that ping or killing that at all. Uh, but I wanna keep the elemental chain going. Sure. Alright, now I don't have to be so committed to this. I can just, uh... Actually, do I even care about clearing their board? Like, minion damage doesn't really matter. I want face damage. Even next turn, I could just go Firework Ping on the, uh, the Raza, so... Saving my burst damage even in this matchup seems pretty wise. Okay. <laughs> uh, that could have gone worse for me. Sphere and Reno Priest? Yeah, some people uh, still run it. It's not that bad. I just think that they, like you're better off uh, brute force in your draws. Like, it's just minus one card in hand what is in a lot of times. Like, you're sacrificing that card in hand for... It's, it's like an opportunity cost, and it's often difficult to, like... Appropriately weigh what how valuable opportunity cost is. Okay, I'm just gonna play the the Baron here. Is it say? Oh, they didn't heal that. Okay.
Kill the flinger? Yeah, like 100% we kill the flinger. We also got this uh, corrupted. I don't think it matters unless I get Jaina down, but Jaina was going to corrupt it anyway. Raffle explains opportunity cost on Twitch. I didn't do a very good job of it, but basically the, the downside of Sphere is that it could be another card that does something more immediately. Sphere has a more delayed impact, so you're giving up a card to make your cards later do better, but the metagame is so fast right now in Wild that you don't often want to do that. Like, that's not a positive trade for you most of the time. Zero mana, eight damage. You wish the metagame was slower? Uh, sometimes. I don't know. Like, the, the reality is is that um, eternal formats tend to be quite fast. I think that there are some decks that are maybe online a little bit too quickly now, and that's probably a problem, but I don't know if that, like, slows down the entirety of the metagame. Your wish is my suggestion. Wait, how does that cost zero? Oh, the insight. <laughs> what do they even get here? Tyrion. Honestly, is that a good twist? Doesn't seem very good. They haven't had um, Anduin yet, so. What I need to do is exhaust them of the cards that they have in hand prior to the Anduin coming down so that I can actually heal through the Anduin. Otherwise, I'm going to have, like, like, even with the Jaina, I don't think I'll be able to get there. Not sure what that accomplished. Wait, that's really good for me. I'll take a dirty rat in my deck. I need to save this. This is my healing with Jaina, and it doesn't have that much impact on board. I will play the uh, the other trash to train. Get them to waste resources. Hey Cthulhu. GG. Why is it GG? Again, if they can waste, if I can force them to waste. Inexpensive resources here, they won't have the damage to kill me. I'm gonna have to use this now. They have three cards. Four cards now, but like it's minus one once they hit the Anduin. Three cards, even with if one of them is spawned, shouldn't be enough to kill me once I go into Jaina mode. Is there a card draw in the deck? Yeah, we've got double Pyromancer, a Bonfire Elemental, and yeah. And now we've got Jaina. Do not fear power. Fear those who wield it. You feel that you have enough card draw, though. I mean, in an odd deck, what card draw, what other card draw would we add? And is it better than just like the cards that we currently have? The yeah, there's Anduin, but now we can just shove the Baku. <laughs> yep, yeah, let's get the Baku down. Freeze their face so they can't attack with the sphere. I guess with five cards they could technically kill us. Also double cats, yeah, but I don't have the, I thought they were referring to the cards that we had remaining. So it's four times six is twenty-four plus four, they deal twenty-eight with five cards and a spawn. No. They could kill us with the spawn, but that would be five cards they would die. So they would need healing and a spawn. Wait, no, it would only be four. So it'd be four times six is twenty-four plus four from the, or no plus two first ping. So it would only be uh twenty-six damage. Shadowy thoughts. They need Reno to spawn. It's more about the number of cards that they have, because they would place they would like ping spawn and then four pings with the spawn. And that's only uh twenty-six total damage. There's the Reno. I'll have a way to generate an elemental off of that. Unless I go here, here, ping that. Which could be worth. It also get- Oh! 
So. Is this a turn that I rag though? Because I could also pyro ping my uh, my elemental. This is my last opportunity to. What do they have that could clear? They've used Psychic Scream, they've used Mass Hysteria, they've used the Palm Reading card, they've used Zephyrus, they've used Death. I don't think there's a downside to this. Just play ping that to play around um, Spirit Lash. It's more important than one damage to face. I don't think that there's any removal that gets us, right? They would have to, they're gonna have to like invest a lot of uh hero powers into the rag. Like Gazakus? No, they haven't played Gazakus, but a five pot isn't going to be enough to deal with the entirety of this board. And it puts us it puts them back into a spot where um spawn of shadows is awkward. So they need raised dead into Reno was uh part of the reason for holding back potentially. not gonna do it they need Zeph which they I assume they missed otherwise they wouldn't go fishing the shadows grow short. like of death that's not a card that they run that, that that's really bad with pull kill I think we've got him unless yeah that's not gonna do it like just trade and uh... well we did play around that, but ooh, they missed a ping. <laughs> um, just take the fifty-fifty. Time melts away. Slay them. Baby, I'm a I'm gonna hold this because I might need card draw if they do manage to clear this somehow. But they should be out of healing. And either they're dead or that dies. I just don't want them to have a way to generate more cards in hand because that's like the one potential way that I die. I suppose I could have pinged this to heal it up. Maybe that was better. Wasn't it lethal? Wait, did I miss it? No, because I had 10... What? Am I dumb? No. Your victory proves nothing. You asked for it. On the wrong side. Kind of like keeping these two together. So I go here on one, this on two, and then try this on three. I would like to find another one drop, but... Instead of this one, but like I can't play this on one and then hold because turn two generally wants to be a ping. But if they if they like I don't know. None will survive. Firefly. Oh, that works too. Cool. Now I can play this and this if I um if I don't want to ping their minion for whatever reason, or I don't want to ping their minion because I want to play this. So. Freeze that. Then we can use this to take out an Arcanologist or something. I'm gonna play this instead now. Test for Flame Ward. Can't really play around both Flame Ward and Explosive. So I'm just gonna play around Flame Ward. All in due Am I? Time. No. Out. I'm not gonna play around Flame Ward. Explosive is way too bad for me. Or I'm not gonna go for an early proc into Flame Ward at least. I think this is my best uh, play there. I was trying to get the to see if I could get this to attack in to hit the flame ward, but I don't think that 
was worth potentially just getting burned by an explosive runes. My cargo, my business. Okay. Well, it's not Reno Secret Mage. They're just running that card. Could be dupe. But I have to kill that. It's not dupe. Explosive. Yep. We don't see a new secret, that means we can just freely play this, which is quite good. You play another deck today. I did. Um, this is the second deck of the day. Excuse me, you are sure. on fire. Yeah, that's good for me. So I can just go here and ping that off. And uh, Janelize ready, right? Yeah. The dream is that I stick a brand next turn. <laughs> but that's pretty ambitious. Oof. Okay. I mean, that's pretty good here. Welcome to the show. We have many secrets. Which one is more threatening? All in due time. Could also just ping and play this. But that's bad into explosive. Pretty sure that's Counterspell or Netherwind. With only two cards, am I that really am I worried that much about this like popping off? I think I'd rather just reduce damage here. And I'm not too concerned about where this goes. Another consideration is this just dies to a hero power, so even if it does like something, we can take it off the board pretty easily. I'm late. I'm late. We have many secrets. a really good draw here and then we just win with the the Jaina next turn I think Ooh. <laughs> or or we don't even need the Jaina okay so I could take a, a risk here and play the arcane missiles, but I'm fairly certain it's, um, like, I don't think that's good. Because I'm fairly certain that is counter spell. So I'm just going to play the Jaina and go face. I don't think I lose with this line anyway. Do not fear power. Fear those who wield it. I will fight with us. Your curiosity. Firefly is great into uh, potentially Odd Paladin. I might coin both of them just as uh, dude killers. Spellwing is also good. None will survive. Okay, so since it's not Odd Paladin, I probably just uh, hang back on the coin. And um, maybe start the the minion train. Cannonball. I don't like... Uh, I'm going to use the coin here because I don't like clearing this and not developing. But I want to clear it because um, I need stuff off the board. This also keeps the elemental chain rolling so I can gyre worm. But like just clearing the board there passes initiative over to the opponent. And that it's like the, the Librams and other buffs are the reasons why we want to um, clear off their side of the board. That's fine. 
See, th that's why, like, in this spot, Consecration doesn't really accomplish much because it gives me a turn to freely develop. I'm gonna go here and here. That gives me the flexibility to either Tar Creeper ping or just play the Bonfire Elemental. I don't have a clear on this, so I'm just gonna run this out here. It's a good hit for next turn. I can go here and here. Change something with the camera or the lighting? Yeah, I got new lights. Um, they're a little bit softer and more dispersed. So it's uh, a more natural <laughs> setup than I had before, which was just a bunch of LED panels pointed directly at my face and it was blinding and miserable. Pyro and ping would have been a clear. I had four plus two is six. That's kind of the wrong order though, isn't it? What about the newish three two firefly? It costs two mana. I think I want to just full clear this. Rather than draw a card, it keeps the elemental chain rolling as well. And it doesn't allow them to um, to buff anything. Alright, I need something to augment my uh, hero power here if I can. Or I'm just going to play this. Oh, whoa, what? That was my face you just attacked. I'm just uh, trying to draw into Jaina. I don't think one minion and a weapon is going to kill me from here, and I can use the um, the Tar Creeper later. Will not be yep, that's fine. I can also kill the 7-7 seven seven with the Amplifier. Or not. Oh, they just wanted to propagate that, sure. I do love a good style. And now I see why. Shard is good here, but is it better than just playing the Tar Creeper? I don't think it is. So it uses more of my mana, like getting this down doesn't really change a whole lot. Champ. That's the better spot for it to land for me. Because I'm going to likely freeze that one anyway. That was a really good draw. Wow. Alright. Yeah, just a casual two mana fireball. Uh, next turn. Nope. Where's my Jaina? Oh my god. That is bad news for me. Oh, hey, that's good news for me. Limitless. I did not mean to let that go there. Ugh. I missed two damage. I was gonna pull back the attack. Welcome to the show. After doing this. It's possible we're dead here, but 
I think the payoff was too good. Why ping face and not a minion? Uh, pinging a minion didn't do anything when the rag shot might have hit it. And I didn't want to waste six damage on a divine shield. Is that enough here? If I can snipe that, maybe. <laughs> I could have also played the Baron Geddon and rolled a 50-50. But this actually puts me above the damage that they have right now, so... Should be fine. Alright, they have 14, we're at 20. And then we just uh, hit a Baron Geddon into, uh, yeah, into Reno Jackson. 16 damage, they need four more, so uh, Blessing the Kings would do it. That's not it. Are we doing it, chat? Looks like we are. I think I play this first to see if I can set up a uh, a water Ellie. No, oh, no, I can set up a water Ellie anyway. So let's do that first. Wait, maybe not. Yeah, that's fine. Just get the water Ellie. Did they trade into? What did they trade into the rag to make board space? See if we can hit that once. Ho! Oh. Nope. <laughs> nice order. I think we win from here. I feel bad for you. <laughs> Maybe pull kilt out, fetch Jaina. Jaina isn't often our win condition. It would a lot of times it would be more about fetching um Janelai. But Polkild is also a 5 mana 4 5 and not an elemental. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Is the order random or is it the one you play first? It's, I think it's play order. Most of those things tend to be. Why didn't he concede? Um, false hope. I cannot wait to read these. <laughs> Still playable. Feels weird, man. I, I don't need to make a water alley here. I'm just gonna make the big thing. I don't think that's going to do it for them. Alright, I will be right back. Chad, don't go anywhere. Thank you to legendary patrons Anonymous Toast, Brokey, Dope Guy, Fizzle Jizzix, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Molly Mock, Neofay, Shadow1TV, Zognisman, and Vanfix. 